सिप सुदीप आई होप ऑडियो वीडियो ओके सुदीप सिप रू माता जी थैंक यू एंड सिप माई सेल्फ गॉन आई होप द अदर्स हु आर ऑन द कॉल आई कैन सी many of you but i know many of you are joining the call in audio mode so my dear friends i was just driving and finally got into this zoom call and i hope that uh black bag ouch i hope that we are uh, going to have a good call today because we have to make a choice today's call is make a choice you want you want confusion or you want conclusion what do you want in your life do you want a confusion or do you want a conclusion so this is the topic of today's discussion you know isn't our life completely full of confusion i don't know how many of you feel that life has got so much confusion i don't know i mean ideally uh, there should be no confusion but i believe that our life is full complete complete confusion so much so many times we don't know what's happening in our life and we are lost there is so much confusion in our life and as long as there is confusion we can never reach that state of conclusion you know um, we are confused about many things we are confused about who we are why we are here what we want out of life many of us don't know what we want out of life what do we want you know do we, do we want to reach that state of enlightenment do we want who we want to host here do we want to reach that once do we want to reach that state of uh, liberation what do we what exactly do we want in life we are ourselves unclear whether we want mukti we want moksha we want samsara we don't know and as long as we are unclear about this how will we be able to achieve it you know i always used to tell people if you don't know where you are going how will you get there if you want to get to a particular point in life you must know where you are going if you do not know where you are going you will never reach your destination so my dear friends with that note i am going to try to touch what is the cause of the confusion in our life okay there is so much there is so much confusion what is the cause the cause is this the cause is this we have grown up with myth we have grown up with so many fairy tales we have grown up with wrong knowledge we have grown up with indoctrination by our teachers you know our own our own teachers and our own our mentors our teachers have told us in terms of teaching us the wrong things and then we have been warned don't question we have been warned don't question because if you question it is called blasphemy blasphemy means you will be you will be punished by god this is what we have been taught that do not have any questions in life and because of all this we have continued to be in ignorance and this ignorance has caused so much confusion in our life we are prisoners of our own mind and ego that keeps telling me i am me 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 and we are jailed we are jailed in our own jail of mind and ego but do you want to be a slave of your mind do you want to be a slave till you reach do you want to continue to suffer so my dear friends it's a big challenge it is a very big challenge for us to be able to make our life free from confusions it may look like a simple topic but i'm telling you today's friday topic is a very effective topic a very effective topic because otherwise the challenge is that we will just go from one myth to another myth one confusion to another confusion and our life will end without any conclusion and then we will come back we will come back into that state of rebirth on earth because we did not 
reach that conclusion. Today, I'm going to share with you a beautiful bhajan, one of my favorite bhajans, which I have been recently humming in the last few days. And I, I wish to share this bhajan with you because I believe that this bhajan is to do with conclusion and confusion. I don't know if you heard this bhajan. It's not a very common bhajan. Girish, you may not have heard this. It says, Avidya me ham sab dube Sach ka na pata Jeevan yun hi beet jaye Maksad na paya Khushiyon ke peechhe bhaagte Sukh na mila जो हमको पाना था वो वो ना पाया सच का एहसास है होना अविद्या को दूर है करना जग से मुक्ति है पाना प्रभु को पाना अविद्या को दूर करना सच का एहसास होना जग से मुक्ति है पाना प्रभु से एक है हो जाना I don't think you heard this but this is one of our favorite it's the new time favorite versions huh? me and my soul are singing this all the time my soul is singing this all the time what is my soul saying? My soul says, Avidya me hum sab dube Sach ka na pata Jeevan yuhi beet jaye You know, my dear friends, agar hum, if we do not realize the truth and our life is over, then what is the use of life? Our life is an opportunity. If this opportunity is not materialized. If this opportunity is wasted, my dear friends, we are our whole life is wasted. And you cannot get a chance to replay. You know, in cricket, in cricket, we have got this action replay. boundary line We can replay. But in this life, there is no rewind button. But there is another button. You know what the button is? There is no rewind button. What button, Girish, you know? It is not, a re there is no rewind button, but there is rebirth button. There is no rewind button, but there is rebirth button. You will come back to earth. My dear friends, because of avidya, because of ignorance, we don't realize the truth. We live with wrong beliefs. We follow wrong rituals, wrong superstitions. We, we live all with confusions. We go from one confusion to another confusion. No conclusion. One more sugar. No conclusion. We decide, we, you know, Rumata Ji, I hope she's on the call. She always says, don't go by the heart, go by the head. Rumata Ji always says, she tells all the youngsters in this call, don't make emotional decisions. Don't get carried away. We get carried away. Who carries us away? The mind. Because there is no intellect. The intellect will not let us get carried away. The intellect will hold us firm. The intellect is called sthit pragya. The intellect will give us, in, it, there will be discrimination. But when there is no discrimination, we go by confusion. And when there is confusion, there is no conclusion. My dear friends, let us work not by mind, but by consciousness. We are working on releasing this book. I am told that in the next few hours, we are in the finale. We are in the grand finale to reach that book and then it will be uploaded on the internet. How to flip from mind to consciousness. We got many new ideas and we are putting it into the book in the last minute. How to make the book because every day, we are, we are, we got a new thought yesterday. When we are in thought, we are caught. 
huh? we are adding to the book this quote when we are in thought we are caught we must be free from the mind then peace and joy in consciousness we will find so we are trying to add all this you know have you heard of the confused elephant have i told you story of confused elephant sudeep have i told come on sudeep what is this <laughs> the confused elephant the confused elephant was in the circus and the confused elephant they tied him to a small nail and then the elephant is just sitting like a like a cow like a cow so somebody came and asked the elephant why you are not running here in that elephant the elephant said you fool you don't understand when i was a child i tried and tried and tried and tried to run away but i could not run away you know what happened when the elephant was a child you know what they do they tie the elephant to a strong tree trunk and the elephant tries and tries and tries and tries but the elephant knows it can't run because it's stuck to a tree now the trick is over now the elephant is confused the elephant has no conclusion the elephant only has confusion so i call it the confused elephant for the elephant you tie the elephant to a nail a small nail the elephant tries little bit he thinks he's stuck to a tree and we are human beings are like the confused elephant do remember the story of the confused elephant don't be a slave somebody tells you shut up and sit i know somebody i tell i told that person don't be a slave of anybody somebody tells them don't touch mobile for 2 hours don't touch don't look don't don't hold your hands for 2 hours then they have to they have to sit like this no we should not, we should we should have mukti mukti means what freedom i will do what i want to do the way i want to do you know i was a slave of who you know i was i was also a slave i was not allowed to touch the mobile for 2 hours for 3 hours i was a slave and i got out of it you know who was who you know who made me a slave you know i did not have told you my son my son i was in a big business 20 years back and i had to answer my phone and as soon as i picked the phone he said papa keep phone papa keep phone papa keep phone and like a fool i listened to him like a fool i listened to him that little fellow did not have common sense that for me being on the phone was very important there were some important decisions but i sometimes we are confused we make the wrong decision because we are like the confused elephant we become a slave of the nail no the biggest problem is we don't have a right master we don't have the right guru we don't have the right spiritual mentor and spiritual mentor means not naam ke vaste spiritual mentor or guru means you must 100% you must believe i used to believe my master 100% and if my master did not tell me something right i would argue with him one day when my master told me astral world i don't sorry dada i don't agree come on explain to me explain 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 i will not agree then my master would explain to me and then he would tell me sometimes okay i am wrong i am wrong this is the this is the this is the divinity the grace of a real master a real master is not scared of admitting he is wrong because we all can be wrong at sometimes but my dear friends today's goal is how can we get out of the maze we are all stuck in one maze and we are not able to reach the conclusion of life life has a conclusion we have been following different philosophies different religions different scriptures different authors you know anybody says something on youtube and you believe it some swami will tell something you believe it some author will say something you believe it and especially follow how many people how many million people are following that person that is not the way you need to have a gps there there was a story i was once in a place where people think you don't need a gps i was in kashmir in the dal lake i told you i was in dal lake and i got out of my house boat and i told that fellow chalo bas jaldi airport jana hai he said sir both fog hai fog kuch dikhta nahi you know what he did <laughs> he kept going straight but the wind was taking him in the left 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 after 10 minutes he came back to the houseboat 
means he is going straight straight but the hawa the hawa me jo hai shakti hawa is pulling him pulling him pulling come back then i told the fellow now you shut up now i am putting on the gps what i did i put the gps of the boat house and although there was no road if you are in this gps you need a road no there was no road but it was showing whether i'm going closer to the boat house or not and when it was going left and left i told him right jao right jao right jao he said nice up i said to shut up jao right jao right jao then in another 10 minutes we reached the boat house you need the right gps not global positioning system you need the right guru's powerful signal the guru gives a powerful signal once i got lost recently in kashmir and my favorite story of getting lost i told you all my favorite story of getting lost in amsterdam amsterdam is one of used to be my favorite place now i go once a year to watch the tulips huh? it's a very beautiful experience to go it, it, to watch tulips in amsterdam so only once not even once in a year once in two three years four years i go to watch the tulips i was in amsterdam and i was looking for train number 74b it was nearly 11 o'clock in the night after my dinner i came running into the station 74b i thought i jumped in the train 74b after jumping the train i was supposed to get off after 20 minutes after 20 minutes train is not stopping zoom 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 going on going on going on after one hour the t- t- the station the tt came i told him, sir 74b sir i got in it's not stopping sir what to do sir it's not stopping he told you fool you are confusion i said what confusion you got into 74b going in the wrong direction this train will go to far go paris it will stop in paris after 2 hours i was out of dutch i was out of netherlands by mistake i got in the wrong train you know i was only 16 years old at that time i was alone traveling in europe when i was 16 years old some people are 36 and they still cannot go into europe with a bag in their hand because you need courage i was 16 years old alone i did 32 places in europe in 29 days i went to 32 places but i had a clarity this was one mistake i made after 2 hours i got off luckily the train stopped in one small station and i took 78 74 78b back to my hotel i reached after 2 o'clock in the morning my dear friends we need a conclusion we cannot live life with confusion let us realize this many of us are lost in life you know we don't we are not able to discriminate we are not able to discriminate what is black what is white what is wrong what is right why we are not able to discriminate because we are the shaitan has taken over when the shaitan takes over we cannot discriminate the shaitan will tell you yeah this is right but it's wrong we have to go by the intellect you know and i told you the importance of a guru did i tell you the story of the parrot who had a guru did i tell you parrot samatma remember parrot story of the guru samatma all of you all don't remember all my stories now you are forgetting my stories And there was a parrot, and this parrot was a small parrot, growing big, growing big, and it saw all its relatives of that parrot. They were dying. There was no mukti. There was no freedom. The parrots were dying in the cage, dying in the cage, dying in the cage. Till when they died, the man would open the cage, take the parrot, and bury it. Take the the parrot told one day the guru used to come to the house. the parrot asked the guru paper the parrot was in parrot language uh, guru ji i want mukti i want you talk about mukti guru ji the parrot said how can i get mukti so the guru whispered in the ear of the parrot the secret of mukti <laughs> then what happened next morning next morning the owner said oh this little baby parrot is dead and the owner opened and took out the parrot to bury it as soon as took out the parrot to bury it the parrot flew away because the parrot was told by the guru you act like you are dead 
the guru gave advice you just do acting you do acting that you are dead so the parrot was acting like dead and like all other parrots the owner took out the parrot and said let's bury it but before they could bury it ud ja re panchi pinjre se ud ja ye tan hai pinjra aur tu ek atma we forget we are atma jeevan ka maqsad mukti pana hai prabhu ko hai pana प्रभु को है पाना संसार में ना है डूबना उड़ जा तो दिस बर्ड लंट दिस बर्ड लंट माय डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस पैरेट हैड अ गुरु बट यू एंड मी वी डोंट हैव गुरु दैट्स व्हाई व्हाट डू वी डू यू नो व्हाट वी आर डूइंग वन डे तमिल वन डे कन्नड़ा वन डे तेलुगु वन डे फ्रेंच वन डे जर्मन एवरीडे वी वांट अ न्यू लैंग्वेज what we learn at the end of the day nothing we will learn nothing because we have no focus learn to have focus one day we read bhagavad gita second day bible third day upanishad what do you expect try to focus that's why when i had a spiritual master my mentor i was 100 focus if somebody told me something i would go and tell dada dada this master told like this what do you think i would trust my master 100% you know what most of us do we don't trust 100% one day we'll tell kuchu 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 to one person second day we'll do kuchu 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 to second person when you keep on doing kuchu puchu kuchu puchu kuchu puchu one two three four people why what do you expect to where you expect to land i think rumi taught us you know what rumi taught rumi said don't when somebody came and told him, sir sir rumi sir we are not able to get water in the village so rumi went to study why you are not able to get water in the village what he saw he saw they have dug 100 wells how many 100 wells all wells 20 feet 30 feet 40 feet 20 feet 30 feet 40 feet he told the villagers you are fools don't dig 20 feet 30 40 feet don't dig 10 wells dig one well for 200 feet and think and digging what do you think expect what happened they got water what we are doing we are jumping and jumping and jumping one belief to second belief wrong belief wrong school of thoughts wrong guides wrong mentors any book you take you read any youtube speaker you listen any story somebody says you believe you end up with confusion there is no conclusion you will never reach that state of enlightenment then came the story of that of what i call the brilliant donkey huh? ashok nichani have you heard of the brilliant donkey there was one brilliant donkey the brilliant donkey was in a place and the place this village had forest all around it and people found it very difficult to go they did not know how to go out of the village to the town to bring vegetables to go and they would go in the forest and they would die or they would get lost then they found one brilliant donkey the brilliant donkey knew how to go and after 20 20 hours or 22 hours the donkey would reach the town so they started putting mala in the donkey they put a garland and the donkey was called the brilliant donkey till one day one of the students of this village who went out with a donkey he became an engineer and he came back after few years and through proper technology he showed the villagers that there was a way to the town in exactly 3 and 1/2 hours in 3 and 1/2 hours and the donkey was taking 20 hours and for the last 25 years people were following the brilliant donkey we are also following the brilliant donkey why because we have not followed the right method my dear friends try not to be confused the very famous story when the real master was pointing out to the devotee 
the truth the devotee was not listening the one day the master played a trick on the devotee he was pointing out and saying that's a king fisher that's a king fisher that's a king fisher then after after the class was over he told the devotee paint king fisher and the devotee painted the finger he painted the finger of the master because the devotee was not paying attention to what the master was saying the master was pointing at the king fisher which was on the tree but the devotee painted the finger my dear friend i can tell you how many more stories should i tell you i can keep on telling you stories some people they come and tell me traita traita some people talk about dwaita you know what is traita and dwaita we believe everything is sip in this call i have explained to many of you there is only sip only atma atma and parmatma is same some people they believe in two no 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 atma and parmatma separate 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 madhav chari madhav chari ramnuj chari the so many acharyas in the past and are some some people they believe in traita traita means ishvara separate jagat separate jiva separate now they will not agree how much have you tell them all are same they will say no 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 why they say this because they have confusion they don't reach the conclusion my dear friends we have to clear all the confusions and sometimes to do this to get that experience it's called a epiphany that anubhuti that spiritual aha it's not easy and unless you and me go on the right path with the right mentor the right master we will not reach the destination there will be confusion we will live we will die we will return to earth in a rebirth we will not get to a conclusion what's today's topic today's topic my time is over i can't believe it i have had i'm not even covered 50% of what i want to say but today's topic my dear friends get rid of all confusion and try to remain in a state of conclusion you need to be in that state of conclusion because if you are in a state of confusion you will go round and round in circles and finally at the end of the day you will come back it make you a donkey you know your mind see some of you the problem is you don't let the monkey mind become still you have two choices either you kill the mind and you still the mind or you let the monkey make you a donkey if the monkey makes you a donkey the monkey will ride the horse and you are no more the boss many of us we lose control of our life my dear friends if you lose control of your life how will you get to a conclusion if you lose control of your life if you are in confusion how will you ever be happy you will lose the even if god gives you everything if god gives you everything you will still pick it you will still pick it because you did not pick it you you will pick it because you did not pick it because you are in a situation don't kick it my dear friends because this is not cricket don't kick it because cricket is okay but in life you can't kick it huh? you must be very focused and talking about cricket don't be a girgit you know girgit girgit is the chameleon that's going on changing colors red blue, blue green orange you know don't be consistent be consistent because then you can be the boss then you kill the monkey and you become the boss awaken your consciousness awaken your intellect be in a state of sat chit anand when you are in that state of sat chit anand then you know what happens 
you become a jeevan mukta jeevan mukta wo kaun hai mithya se jo mukti paata sthit pragya wo kaun hai satya ke chit mein jo hai jeeta mithya mithya hai ye satya nahi hai इसका एहसास वो है करता सत्य के चित्त में वो है रहता आनंदा में सदा जीता सच्चिदानंद में वो जीता सम ऑफ यू डोंट नो द मीनिंग ऑफ सच्चिदानंद यू ओल यू कीप लिस्निंग टू मी एंड यू थिंक आई एम गिविंग सम स्टोरीज आई एम गिविंग सम फेरी टेल हैव यू एक्सपीरियंस सच्चिदानंद द डिविनिटी Have you experienced? It is such a beautiful divinity, because you are confused with fences, faces, faces, forces. We are the, I call it the four F prison. We are prisoners of fences, faces, faces, forces. You know, I told you if I wanted to ask my guru a question, I had to wait sometimes two weeks, four weeks. You, if you want to ask question one day, eight o'clock. Rarely I miss one call like yesterday. Once in one month or two months, I miss a call. Maybe once a month, but you can ask any question. And if I don't give you a convincing answer, you can give a slap on my face and tell, "Nabish, you're talking nonsense. I don't agree with you." You can. So, I am not a person to say, "No, no, what I say is right." You keep quiet and listen. No, if I'm creating confusion, it's an open forum. You can question me. You can criticize. You can condemn. This is not a forum where somebody prepares a video and puts on the internet. This is a live forum. You can ask any question, any time regarding the subject, and I'm bound to answer to you. I'm I, I'm obliged to answer you because I am here to guide you. So, my dear friends, let us wake up. Every religion has their own god. Every speaker, their own belief. Every book, its own philosophy. Don't don't try to believe all. You will be lost. don't try to sail on many boats when you try to sail on many boats you cannot reach your destination if you want to reach your destination choose the boat choose that boat decide the right what you want choose the focus be on the right focus and reach an enlightenment the journey is long the time is short before i close my time is over i'm going to close now the journey is long the time is short no confusions no confusions only conclusion life is precious huh when i told somebody life is precious don't fool yourself don't fool yourself by saying your life is not precious your life is precious don't waste it don't live in confusion live in conclusion have focused direction holding the hand of an enlightened master i am telling you without my enlightened master i would have been lost if i did not have the hand of an enlightened master i would not be have be capable of talking to you today if i am talking to you today all credit goes to my master who held my hand and told me go beyond he told me go beyond me don't stop where i am he knew i have a larger mission in life he was catering to lkg school university all kind of students i am only catering to university i don't teach lkg and school students i only teach people who are in the university of spirituality i don't teach anybody else my dear friends because of our subject next week i'm going to give you a new detailed explanation what is enlightenment what is enlightenment but because my time is over today i'm sorry for taking away four minutes of ask care administrator let us help clear people's confusions questions Friends. Yes, my dear friends. Now you are set. Question and answers. Who is going to start? Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Ah, uh, sir, there is power cut, so I am. My video is off. Ah, uh, it is no fine. problem. No problem, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Uh, you are Doctor Sar. You are Doctor Saroj. You are joining for the first yes. time. Please ask the question, sir. Doctor Saroj. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, sir, I have so many confusions. I am all already sailing in so many boats. and by profession i am physiotherapist but uh, in my mind so many uh, thoughts comes and goes comes and goes and i am already on my spiritual path 
आई मीन आई मीन लाइक आई प्रे to lord uh, hanuman ji then krishna then ganesh ji and all in morning and evening dono uh, both time so by praying uh, i so what is your what is your, your question yes, dear doc what is your question question is like my uh, thoughts comes very abruptly i am directionless sometimes i uh, i i think uh, i should continue physiotherapy uh, subject sometimes i feel like no i should join music and dance and i have a career like hima so malini tell me <laughs> yo sir so many so many questions come to my mind and okay. i call up uh, tell Facebook. me how, what how did you come to this call who who told you about this call how did you come to this call uh, mr uh, rishu i think uh, nahi uh, by seeing facebook okay, by okay. seeing on facebook so i just registered Same. so dr saroj how many gods do you believe in so god is one but i believe in all like ganesh ji hanuman ji krishna santoshi ma durga ma every god that's but all. i i that's believe all. yes 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 sir pardon sir see as long as you as as long as you believe in everything you will achieve nothing okay as long as you believe in everything you will achieve nothing if you want to be hema malini also and you want to be dr saroj also you will achieve neither neither will you be dr saroj nor will you be hema malini so how i can yes by by using your intellect please come on this call every day this call is at 8 o'clock every day friday 7:30 and ask questions we are here to guide you you must understand you who are you somebody asks you who are you what will you say i am a human being i am a female i am not a doctor this, is, this is this only this is these are the only uh, status uh-huh. we have given to someone you will you will say i am female i am doctor i am saroj all are lies all are lies when you were born when you were born were you saroj saroj no. name came later correct yes yes you are a doctor you are a doctor right when were you born what's your birthday 28th april 28th april yes. sometime you cut a cake no <laughs> yes sir and when you were child you were cutting a cake yeah on okay. birthday do you yes. know doc, dr saroj do you know 28th april your birthday is not right it's a fake day you know it's fake okay you know it's, you know it's fake or you don't know i know i i mean this this date is uh, told by my parents like you born on this date and i believe that yeah, but yeah because it's on your birth certificate no it's on your passport yes. it's on your birth certificate correct yes sir there is network issue some were you born on that day or were you conceived 9 months before when were you conceived when were you, when when were you really when were you really born yes, when were you yes, really conceived before 9 months when my mother conceived before then as a doctor as a doctor how can you believe that your birthday is 28th april how can you believe as a doctor okay so so dr saroj this this call is called enlightenment So this is an enlightenment call if you come on this call every day all yes. your confusions will be over and you will reach a conclusion what to do how to do who am i you will reach to all the confusion will get cleared and you will reach to conclusion okay sir okay can you hear me girish am i are you losing me on audio no. yes sir sir some connectivity issue from my side my end i think aru is our connection okay my connection is okay or no yes sometimes is get, get freezed sometimes it stuck no but my audio is my audio getting affected or my audio is okay both both audio and okay. voice okay. audio and video. i think doctor i think also your connection may be weak so doctor please come on the call on a daily basis and i can assure you you will find a conclusion what should be done in your life but you need to come on this call on a regular basis yeah yeah okay sir thank you so much sir and i can assure you today i'm just telling you just like your birthday is not your birthday it gives you thought food for thought 
you were born nine months before. If yeah. you start realizing who you were, then you will know what you want to be and how to be that. I will guide you, but you must. My, my only request is you must come on the call. Okay, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Bliss has a question, and we have a new person. I think Ayushi. Ayushi will give you next. I'm just asking Bliss question, and then Ayushi. Uh, what do you yes, mean sir. by Hello. confusion and con? Hello. How to be closer to the conclusion? So. Hello. Uh, yeah, one minute. Ayushi, just yeah. a moment, please. Yeah, yeah. So, Bliss, confusion means you have many. Opinions, bliss. Yeah. You have many opinions. You know, I want this. I want that. This is right. That is right. <laughs> many confusion means you're not clear. There is no clarity, and because of the mind, there is no clarity. The mind is jumping from thought to thought. That is the that is the meaning of confusion, because bliss is French. Sometimes we explain to her. So if you have any question, you can ask me. But Ayushi and then Shunya also. Ayushi and Shunya. Yes, Ayushi. Yes, sir. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Ayushi. Yes, sir. Uh, so I have this confusion. Like it's been five. Uh, it's been six months. I am separated from my husband. And yeah. uh, despite despite all the ups and downs, I have been calculating, analyzing everything. Like what what needs to be done now. to clear all my conclusion uh, confusion and come to a clarity because uh, minds yeah. work on clarity basis yeah so all these things i'll just sum up that i have this pattern repeating patterns i have attended a lot of uh, belief system limiting belief system clearing subconscious mind uh, operating subconscious mind uh, things and every other stuff i have been working on myself it's been 5 months now but still you know whenever a time comes like you know ab kya decision lena hai uh, like sath rehna hai ya separate hona hai then again uh, my state of mind goes to that confusion mode because this is the second time the patterns and everything is has been repeating in my life rest all all other aspect has been very great in my life but in relationship uh, sector has always been you know um, not very good you are not the only person having this problem don't think you yeah. are the only person having a having a problem yeah. it's a very common thing in this world to have a relationship problem but ayushi what, the problem what, what, is that yeah. you have not reached a state of consciousness you have not reached a state of consciousness you must reach that state of consciousness you know let me give you one let me give you one small example you can listen to you can hear me carefully You can hear me clearly or not? Is my audio yes, okay? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, are you are you she? Today, there was somebody with me, and they lost their mobile phone. They lost their mobile phone, and they started becoming very unhappy. I lost my mobile phone. I lost my mobile phone. I lost my mobile phone. So I said, "Hold on. When did you last see your mobile phone?" No, I saw in the morning. I saw in the morning, but I lost my mobile phones because they were so cluttered in their thought. They could not find the mobile phone. You know what, Ayushi? What I did? I went back step by step, and I said, "Okay, when you last used the mobile phone at this time? Then what happened? Then the mobile phone is missing." I said, "No, where were you? They were sitting on a table and chair." and when they were sitting on the table and chair and i asked them after this did you see the mobile phone they said no you know what i did i just bent my head down under the table and chair and below the table was the mobile phone it had fallen below the table i picked the phone and gave it back to the person ayushi what i'm trying to tell you is as long as your mind is cluttering your thought you cannot make the right decision you will make the wrong decision you know what will happen ayushi you will lose the important person of your life by choosing the listen carefully ayushi what i'm telling you if you are in the mind state you will lose the important person of your life by choosing the unimportant person of your life and this is a trick of the mind you must not be in a state of mind you must be in a state of consciousness in a state of intellect and if you are not in the state of intellect ayushi you are sure to make a wrong decision did you hear what i said ayushi 
I'm not sure. Ayush, are you on the call? Hello? Yeah, did Hello? you hear what I said? Yes, yes, sir. I heard that. Yeah. So, what is the procedure to come to the consciousness state? Because according to me, what I have analyzed is I, I, I had, uh, you know, made all the points, like the positive ones, which is serving my life, the negative ones, which is not serving my life. The procedure... The procedure is very simple. Come to this call every day. Come for 10 days. And if it's, there's no change in 10 days, I will pay you I will pay you whatever price that's for coming for 10 days. Come for this call for 10 days and ask 10 days question. I guarantee you, you will move from a state of thought to a state of consciousness. 10 days on this call. Only 10 days. It's free of cost. How did you come to this call? Ayushi, who told you about this call? Uh, through Instagram. Okay, so my request to you, Ayushi, Please come on this call. See, you have to kill the mind. And to kill the mind, you have to still the mind. And to still the mind, there is a method. So I will guide you. If you ask me questions every day on this next 10 days and take my number, my number is flashed on the screen. Take my number and share your situation a little bit more so I can guide you. The problem you're facing is not a complicated, it's not a complicated problem. It's a, sol it's a solvable problem. So is it is complicated but for me because must... the same thing has repeated twice. No problem. You have, you have gone through two separations. Is what you're saying, right? Yes. Don't worry about it. You will find a solution. Having two separations is not the problem. Reaching a conclusion is the problem. You need to get to a yeah, basically, I right need to choice. clear the pattern. Like, why is it repeating? You know, analyzing myself, yeah. I have not done anything wrong because the background I come from. The only problem is we make a wrong choice. The only we make a wrong choice, and who makes the wrong choice is the mind. Yeah. As long be, as the yeah. mind makes the wrong choice, we are we are going to reach the wrong destination. Exactly. If we make the wrong, wrong choice, choice Ayushi. Wrong, uh, out outcome i i understand yeah. that i am pretty much aware now i have uh, uh, come to this awareness so please, that earlier i was in the victim so mode please that, come, like aisa kyun hua mere sath hi kyun ho raha hai aur why me all those stuff all those questions are, i was ye chinta mat karo mai vik... ayushi don't yeah, worry if you are in victim mode find a solution and this call we will we will find a solution you will be in a state of ananda. You will become the happiest girl in the world if you make the right choice. But if you create a prison around you and you create a jail for yourself, who's creating the jail? Who's creating the bad circumstances? Who's creating the misery? Who's creating the problems? You are creating. That is me. Yeah. You are, and I don't want to create, create that. Yeah. yeah, but who's choosing that? You are choosing it. You have chosen the wrong choices. So don't worry about it. I'm telling you, come to the call. And I will guide you. Take my mobile number, WhatsApp me your situation a little bit clearly, and I will be able to understand you. And you can ask me questions on this call every day at eight. Yeah, yeah. So I that would only... be fine. Like once I tell you my entire situation, because it is yeah, I understand I it's complicated hear... for me because I, can't I, hear I, you. I am going through it. I don't have that uh, that knack how to deal with this situation. Maybe this is the reason I'm more confused, more perplexed, more in dilemma. Like what should I do? Okay, don't worry. Have you got my number on the chat? Please take my yes, number from the yes. chat. Yeah, please. And, and please take my number, WhatsApp me. I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you that if you follow the path of consciousness, you will make the right decision. But if you see, remember one thing, Ayushi, in your mind, there is Bhagwan, And in your mind, there is Shaitan. In your head, there are two. In your head, there is Nep and Pep. In your head, there is mind and consciousness. In your head, there is Bhagwan and Shaitan. If you put the wrong entity in charge of your head, you are dead. Very true. If because put... this, I have been facing like past five days up Bapas in a surface pe aara, like they want divorce, they want separation. So you know, abhi tak aise tha, we were in no contact zone. But ab Bapas okay, and Bapas is floating. Yeah, I'm Bapas requesting these you. Things are floating. I am into sometimes I feel like okay, bhai, alag ho jau, and sometimes I like usne meri life kar hai. why should I give him divorce so easily? I don't know. Like Shuni, I'm uh, being very frank with you. I should not have these negative thoughts, but it comes. Being a human mind, it comes to my mind. Thoughts? Are you listening to me? Thoughts. Are thoughts come 
uninvited. They don't knock at the door. Ayushi, thoughts come uninvited. They don't knock at the door. Once they enter, they push you on the floor. Shove them out and shut the door. I will show you how to do it. I will show you how to throw all the thoughts out and be a state of consciousness. Message me on my number. Come for the next 10 days and you can tell me after 10 days whether it is working or not. Okay? Sure, sure, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing and thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, Shunya. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you, Shunya. Thank you, uh, Ayushi. Shunya. I request some clarity on uh, difference or similarities between theology and spirituality. They tend to overlap a lot, creating confusion. So I would okay. request you yeah. some clarity on that. Theol theology and spirituality is the diff theology is religion. Theo every religion is a theology. And a religion is only a kindergarten. It can teach you A, B, C of God and everything. But spirituality is a university. If you want to evolve from kindergarten to university, you have to leave school. How many, how many of you have seen people after 70 years, 80 years still going to LKG and KG? Have you seen? When you are 70 years and 80 years, you're not sitting in LKG and KG, but I can show, I, I, have, I see thousands of people. They are 80 years old and they are 90 years old. But still they are thinking, Mujhe kashi jana hai. Aur kashi mein mujhe marna hai because kashi mein marne se mujhe mukti milega. Moksh milega. This is the foolishness that we get stuck. Theology is just to teach us the ABC of God. All theologies are good. All religions are good. But they are only the kindergarten. But Spirituality... Uh, spirituality uh, is the science of the spirit sorry. spirituality is a science theology is not a science theology is a philosophy theology a of, is a belief yeah a lot of teachers who claim to be spiritual teachers but they are actually teaching theology so yeah, don't, when don't i personally them. tried when i personally tried to study a little uh I see certain overlaps, which could be confusing. So that's There's, why I wanted to discuss that with you. Okay, Shunya, it's very simple. They will be overlapping because in LKG, they teach you ABC. And the same ABC you need in college and graduation. So you have to go grow beyond ABC. Don't get stuck with ABC, 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 ABC in university. You will remain a kindergarten student. Okay, next question, please. Thank you. We have another five minutes to end this call. And I'm happy we have some new people who are on the call. I Please uh, pardon me for giving them time because new people coming and we must encourage them. Tushatma is a question. When we say the person is born blind or with some disease, is it because of previous karma? How could we come to conclusion that remaining all 19 people who were born are good that they are reborn? My dear Tushatma, the first mistake is questioning the law of karma. Don't question. You are saying one is born blind and the other 99% are good. What is the guarantee you will become blind after one year? What is the guarantee that you will not get cancer? What is the Karma has got its own ways of dealing with you and me. You can't escape karma except through enlightenment. You can't escape karma except through overcoming ignorance. Tushatma, don't play with karma. Tushatma, don't play with karma. Remember the rhyme. Huh? Tushatma, karma is a law. Nobody can play with karma. It will deal with us even after we are dead. It will bring us back to earth in a rebirth. Whether we are blind or deaf or dumb, that's not the point. You know, karma, what you do will come back to you. It's like a boomerang. It's called the law of the boomerang. That's why you will never see apples growing on mango trees. That is the law. You cannot see apples growing on mango trees. And some swamis and some gurus will come and tell you, yesterday there was a person that came and a very interesting person. It's I, This person is what I call, the, in, she, she is an Instagram freak. This person, it's an in, in, Instagram freak. So she came and she showed me a video. In the video, that man is telling her, yes, ma'am, tell me. And she says, father, 
I am in the wheelchair from 25 years and I have this problem, I can't walk and I'm in the wheelchair for 25 years. And he says, hail the Lord and you shall walk and now the Lord is healing you and healing you and healing you. Walk my dear, walk my dear. And she starts walking and people start clapping. You want to make a video like that? Should I make a video and show you like that? How many people I'm healing? Should I show a video to you? You know, it costs 200 rupees to make a fake video. Don't believe. Don't believe. Because if you believe in rubbish, you will re become rubbish. Don't believe in rubbish. These are all pranks. Doing like this and removing Mangal Sutra and doing like this and removing Bubuti. Don't believe. Don't believe. Magic shows are possible. But believe in SIP, the supreme immortal power. Believe in that power. That power that gives birth, that gives death. Believe that power. Sonu Sharma. Yes, Sonu Sharma. Sonu Sharma. What's your question, please? You have to unmute. Sonu Sharma, please unmute. Please unmute Sonu Sharma. You're not unmuting. Yes, now I can hear you. Please, please go ahead. Yes, Sonu Sharma, what's your question? What's your question, please? No. I think she, Sonu Sharma wants to demonstrate some recipe, I think. She's eating butta. So, but okay, we are we are getting on to the next question from uh, from Lina, is it? Lina Anand. How to come to conclusion of realization and stuck in confusion of knowledge? Lina Anand, through realization of the truth. Several realizations. Remember, Lina Anand, you were there on the call a few days back, and we were talking about partial enlightenment. And I was going to just agree that there's partial enlightenment. And all the masters in this call, they concluded very clearly that we cannot allow partial enlightenment concept. There is no partial enlightenment. Anubhuti ye aisi ho jati hai Aankhon se kuch dikhta na hai Mehsoos sach ho jata hai so, my dear Lina, your question, how to come to conclusion of realization, it will come to you. The conclusion of realization will come to you you are stuck in confusion. That's why there is no realization. When you are out of confusion, then there will be realization. The confusion is stopping the realization. What are we talking today, Rinanan? We are talking about coming to conclusion. Conclusion will be revealed. Aparoksh anubhuti The Buddha called it Apo Deepo Bhava. You light your own lamp. Work towards it. Don't think, many people think sitting in one temple and repeating one mantra and you will get enlightened. Is it possible? Sorry, not possible. Bhakti mein hai shakti jisse hogi mukti. You must have bhakti. That bhakti will create shakti. That shakti must give you jnana. Jnana. Jnana yoga. Don't think conclusion. No. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices. Sometimes you have to make some, you have to give up something to get something. Some people, they don't want to give up. They want to stick on to the confusion. How will you reach the conclusion? They want to stick on to samsara. How, how do you attain moksha? Moksha is the most beautiful thing in this world. Mukti, the liberation from suffering is the most amazing thing in this world. I'm telling you because I have experienced both. I have experienced achievement and enlightenment. 
I have gone through the in-between of contentment and fulfillment. I have all the experiences. <laughs> and I am telling you what is the right choice. Okay, last one or two questions. Confusion, conclusion, enlightenment. Last one or two questions because today is Friday. We will not go beyond a few more minutes. I saw some more questions under the any, any, no. Okay. Ask, investigate, realize the truth. Maybe tomorrow I'm going to have a session with you all what to ask and how to ask. Uh, tomorrow I want to have a session with you all. I will, what to ask and how to ask. Hopefully that session we will have tomorrow. Because I feel that many of you, you have many, many confusions in your head, but you don't solve them till you are dead. Ask, what stops you from asking? Ask, because if you don't ask, you know what the Bible says? The Bible has a very good word. The Bible says, knock and it shall open. Seek and exactly. you shall open. Exactly. If, you don't, if you don't knock, the door won't open. If you don't ask, you will not receive. If you don't seek, you will not find. So last question. Anybody has a question before we close? Was the session very confusing, Girish? Was the session very confusing? No? I thought maybe I've confused you. What have I told you? Okay, what was the learning from today's session? Ashok Nichani. What was the session? What was the learning from today's session? Girish, Ashok, Samatma, Sudip. What was the learning? Let's not waste the three, four minutes we have. What was the learning from today's session? You no. should not be in confusion. So how will you, how will you not be in confusion, Ashok? Consciousness, use your consciousness and intellect for conclusions. Ashok, okay, I'm, I'm happy Ashok has got a conclusion. Girish, what was your learning today? If you remain in conclusion, you will reach nowhere. So, you have to come to a proper conclusion and reach your goal of enlightenment. One man was, one, one, one of my friends, Girish, when I was a young, when I was a young, in school, one of my friends, he was in confusion. He was in confusion. Every morning, every morning, he would, uh, he would tell me he's riding his bike. And after one hour, he would not reach college. I asked him, what's the problem? After a few days, I went. Every morning, uh, he's getting up, sitting on the bike, riding the bike after one hour, not reaching college. So when I went and I saw after four or five days, when he told me the problem, he was forgetting to remove the bike from the stand. The bike was in the stand and he was riding the bike for one hour and the bike was in his house only. The, conf the confusion is he forgot, to, he forgot to take the bike on out of the stand. So then, <laughs> see, this may sound silly, you know, but it's a real story. Some of us are living in confusion. My dear friend Girish, Many of us are going round in circles. We are going round and round in the merry-go-round of life. Yeah? Here we go round the mulberry bush, mulberry bush, mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush and we all fall down. It is we from first to class, sir. First to huh? class poem restriction. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I, I don't remember learning this poem. I, I got it from... A flash. I don't remember this poem actually. Okay. Uh, bo bole Vanilla. Bole Vanilla. Yes. Can sir. you share I'm your beautiful experience and the reason for your big change, sir? Can you share Bole Vanilla, the reason I changed from a businessman and I had a lot of money and a lot of name and fame and money and achievement and success because I knew I cannot take a penny to the grave. Huh? Is, it, is it not very funny? Is it not funny that we cannot take a penny, but we cheat the world, we cheat everybody, and finally we die? How much more foolish can one be? I tell people who are not reaching the state of enlightenment, I tell them you are wasting your life. 
this life is a gift. This life is meant to be liberated and enlightened and to become one with Sip, the supreme immortal power. I tell people you are, are divine. I tell people you are divine. Don't live like a devil. Because we have two options to live like the divine or live like a devil. So Boela, because I was living like a devil. I was living like a shaitan. And I learned the way to discover the Bhagwan inside me. Instead of living as a devil, I wanted to live as divine. And this is the choice. I wanted to discover the true purpose of life. My Guruji, he sent me on a talash. He sent me on a quest to find out who am I? Why am I here? So Boila, Manila, I'm sorry, your name is very unique. I may make a mistake in pronouncing your name. But we human beings, we forget that there is a purpose on earth. We just live and die and come back in the rebirth. We think that one day we will go to heaven and hell because this is what scriptures tell. But unfortunately, this is a lie that God lives in the sky. And until we ask the question and find out who am I, we will just live and die. We have to wake up. We have to wake up and we have to realize the truth. And if you want to realize the truth, you have to open your real eyes. And you have to remove all the confusions and reach the conclusion. I was lucky I had a spiritual master. He held my hand. He held my hand and he showed me the path. And he told me, run. He told me, run. There is no time to walk. And some of us think few years. After few years, I will do. No. No after a few years. If you want enlightenment now, today, the time is now. So that's what that that's the reason, uh, Boila Venela. We have Rekha Chaudhary last comment or question for a few seconds before we close. Thank Hello, you, Rekha. Sir. Thank you for your Thank sharing you. your testimony. Thank you, Boila. Rekha. Sir, you have to bola ki aapke guru ne aapka hath pagda, lekin hamara hath to kisi ne nahi pagda hai na? Ah, chodo na to uska hath, wo hai tere bole na, bole na jo mere sa. You have to surrender yourself to the Guru for him to hold your hand. You cannot tell the Guru, Guru, Yahamat Pakado, Guru, Yahamat Pakado, Yahat Dardhota hai, Yahamat na. Guru can slap you. If my Guru slap me, I'm ready for the Guru to slap me. So the way Rekha for the Guru to hold your hand is complete surrender, unconditional surrender, no conditional. Many of us have got conditional surrender. Conditional, a conditional You know, when somebody comes, somebody comes and tells me, you know, I trust you. I ask them how much you trust me. They say 99%. I say, get out. I say, get out. Because 99% trust means you don't trust me. If you trust, then trust 100%. If you trust, then trust 100%. This is the way to get a good guru when we surrender ourselves completely to our master. And then the master will take charge of our life. I surrendered, Rekha. I surrendered completely to my master. My Dadaji, my Guruji. We don't have a Guru. If you have surrendered, you will never get a Guru. You have to learn the Guru. Then you have to learn the Guru. Then you have to go to the path where the Guru is. Then you will see the Guru. You cannot find a guru, Rekha. Mm -hmm. You cannot find a guru. The guru will find you. Remember this. When the disciple is ready, the master will come. Jab shishya tayar hai, guru apne aap utpan ho jayega. So my dear friends, today's session is very important. Take out all the confusions. Take out all the confusions and you will reach the conclusion. Don't don't just drift through life. Don't be like a sailboat. And some sail, some people they just get into a sailboat. Kaha Jaha bhi le jayega ye sailboat. No, no, no. You take a motorboat, have a clear direction, and reach your destination. Newcomers, thank you for joining, and all other masters on this group. With folded hands, I bow down to you for your presence.